the first step of your USMLE journey will be registering with the ECFMG to get your USMLE ID. Uh, so in the next few minutes, I'll be going over the whole process in detail and break it into clear steps. Also, hi, I'm Rashi. I'm a doctor from India, currently on my USMLE journey to apply to my dream residency of internal medicine in the US. So let's get started. So to begin with, you have to go to ECFMG's website and go to the online services tab and then go to IWA and then click on request for a new USMLE ID if you've never requested for a USMLE ID before. You don't need much, you just need your current unexpired passport and a mode of payment like credit card. Now after this, uh, there opens up a form where ha you have to fill up your details. So your name, your address, your passport number, and your medical school and one little tip here is make sure that the details you are filling in the form exactly match uh, what's written on your passport because i made this mistake and then that just ended up uh, causing a little delay in the process so just, that's just a little heads up once you've filled out the information towards the end of it you will be prompted uh, and you'll be required to pay 160 us dollars once you've paid that, you get your form 186 called the Certificate of Identification Form. Now this is one part of the process. Once you get uh, the Form 186, it has detailed instructions on what to do next. But I'll still explain it to you. Now once you have your form, you have to get verified. How do you do that? It is done by a notary online. So you go onto Notary Camp's website and then you have to upload a copy of your passport and your Form 186. Once you do that, you can now schedule an appointment uh, on the Notary Camp website. It is a quick five minute video call where they ask you your name, have you show your passport. So yeah, make sure you have your passport on hand when you have to do the Notary Camp video call. And once they've verified your details, in like a week or so, you get your USMLE ID in your email. Uh, once you uh, you have your USMLE ID, you will now be able to go to ECFMG's website and log in with that ID. It is super important because now you will be able to fill out your step one form, your step two form, and upload your documents and credentials and do everything related to USMLE from here. So that's about it. I hope you found this helpful and if you did, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe because I will be uploading more videos uh, based on USMLE on this channel super soon. So bye bye.